must have all of them, all there are, for nothing makes me happy. But they're shining, and they're grace. So the Red Bull caught them. <laughs> Hello everyone, so it's that time of day again where I'm going to review a movie. This one happens to be The Last Unicorn, um, released in 1982, directed by Jules Bass and Arthur Rankin. Um, it has like an amazing voice talent in it. It um, stars Mira Farrow, Angela Lansbury, Christopher Lee, Jeff Bridges. The songs in the film are performed by America. Um, as a kid, I would love the music, the soundtrack, and the, just the, the um, artistry in the film is so beautiful and vibrant, um, even for its time. Um, so, the plot is that um, Mia Farrow's character, the unicorn, she um she happens to to think she's the last unicorn on earth because uh, a butterfly tells her about what happened with the Red Bull. No, I don't mean the the energy drink. I mean a um, Chicago Bulls looking bull, giant red flaming bull that pushed all the unicorns to the edge of the earth to King Hag Haggard's castle. Christopher Lee's character. Um, and it's up to her to save them because she believes they're still alive. What have you done to me? Oh no. Oh please, no. <laughs> you see, I, I couldn't think of anything else to do to save you. What have you done to me? I'm a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. <gasps> Don't you hurt yourself? Be still. The magic knew what it was doing. In this shape alone, you have some hope of reaching King Haggard and finding out what has become of the other unicorns. I wish you had let the Red Bull take me. I wish you had left me to the harpy. I can feel this body dying all around me. But, but it's only for a little while, I promise you. Soon you'll have your true shape again, forever. Why not now? Schmendrick? You can't let us stay like this. You can't possibly. Why not? Unless you think you could defeat the bull if you met him again. No. But I'm afraid of this human body. More than I was of the Red Bull. Afraid. So she embarks on this journey um, to find any left unicorns in the world. Um, so she then meets, um, Mommy Fortuna, a witch, um, who, uh, captures animals and, uh, puts a spell on them where people see creatures that they're not, like, for example, like a snake. So I'll put a spell on it and it'll make it appear to be a, um, like a dragon or, um, for the, yeah, so, but then, so she, there she meets, uh, Smindrick, a musician at a carnival where she is held by Mommy Fortuna, and it's in the 80s, so, of course, well, and the movie came out in the 80s, so, of course, it's, eh, the original VHS that I owned at the time had a uh, cut words in it, well damn, and then um, even the DVD release, they haven't, um, it still has um, a harpy in it that shows woman's breasts, um, well, a bird with woman's breast anyway, but so it makes it all that more uh, 
memorable <laughs> because um they don't usually say that in cartoons at least I didn't um but then um Smendrick wants to come along with her on her quest and they get in trouble and um eventually they find the unicorns hidden in the ocean um but then she one part that's really compelling before this is that Smendrick turns her into a human to keep the Red Bull up from from chasing her into the ocean with the others um and there she discovers the difference between a human and being a unicorn um she starts to grow emotions and feelings and love for uh, Prince Lear, uh, Christopher Lee's, or, uh, well, King Haggard's step, or, uh, adoptive son. And she falls in love, and so she becomes the only unicorn in the world that would know what that's like. Um, and it's a really great story. Um, like I said, the, um, the artistry is great, the music is beautiful, the story is so, um, it's so different, but it's fresh, and it just has that quality of a masterpiece, because it is, and um, with the voice talents, that makes it even all that much better. Um, so, that's pretty much my review. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely watch it. Um, it was on Netflix for a while, but then also, you can give that Walmart for very little cheap because it's not a very, uh, popular film, unfortunately. It has a cult following, but it's not, you know, like, as known as some movies because it's not a Disney film either. But we'll see you later. There is no movement of yours that has not betrayed you. A pace, a glance, a turn of the head, the flash of your throat as you breathe, even your way of standing perfectly still. <laughs>